All right, so last time what I did, uh, I added a timing pointer because uh, when I originally bought this Bronco, it didn't have one. Uh, I added some timing tape because the marks on the uh, harmonic balancer were pretty difficult to see. And then I set my distributor to 10 degrees before top dead center. When I installed my Phytech, I also locked out my distributor and installed a phased rotor. Phytech uh, recommends the phased rotor. I recommend it as well. So let me show you real quick how I set my phased rotor and my distributor up, and then we're gonna make a couple tweaks. So now that I've got my timing tape on, I've got my timing pointer in, and I've got my engine rotated to 10 degrees before top dead center, I'm going to line up my distributor and make sure that it is in the right spot. First, you want to locate the number one spark plug uh, and the number one spark plug hole on your distributor. And on a Ford 302, your number one spark plug is always this first one on the passenger side. So if we follow this spark plug wire up, this is our number one spark plug. So what we wanna do is come down here and make a little mark on the back of the distributor on the base. I've already done that, and so I'm gonna pull the cap off and just make sure that it still lines up. Here's my line, and it is off just a little bit. Okay, so because my distributor is locked out, I'm actually going to remove this cap and line up the magnetic pickup with the metal gear inside of here just to get it exactly right. Inside of your distributor you have this blue thing which is your magnetic pickup and you can barely see the magnet right in the middle and so if I turn this you see that magnet moving inside of there. And this tooth right here is the number one spark plug on there. And so what I wanna do is I wanna try to get that lined up as close as I can where the spark and the magnetic pickup, they're gonna be the closest together. Let's go to the handheld controller and actually set 10 degrees on the handheld controller. We're gonna to go to Go EFI Tuning. We're gonna go down to Timing Control. And then we're gonna set our distributor base degrees to 10. And it's okay if it says 10.1. And then you're gonna push it, send to ECU. And then remember, whenever you do any changes to your, to your Phytech, you wanna go back to the dashboard, turn off the key, and let the numbers zero out before you do anything else. Boom, okay. So now that has been saved into our handheld controller. Now if we go to GoEFI Tuning, Timing Control, there's our base degrees set to 10.1. Now we're gonna keep making changes to the timing, but this distributor base degree is solely based on where did you put the distributor in the engine. All right, now with our base timing set on our Phytech handheld controller, what we wanna do is we wanna go back into the distributor and phase the rotor. But what you're gonna do with the phased rotor is you're just gonna loosen this up and it's really hard to see, but these are in five degree increments. So you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. And so we're just gonna move it 10 degrees and then tighten it back down. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start it up and watch what the numbers are on the handheld controller. Now, most likely this is gonna run pretty rough because I've been driving it with kind of different timing settings. So I'm gonna kind of give it a minute to adjust to that and then I'm gonna get the timing light. Make sure that the timing on uh, the engine is the same as on the handheld controller. The book recommends that you do this at about 2000 RPMs.
So you can see my spark advance trying to balance itself out. It was up at 25, now it's like at 17. Grab my timing light, see where we are. All right, so you can see my spark advance right there. It's reading at about 17, 18. I get my timing light in here. Pitting at about 15. So a little bit off, but I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 2,000 RPMs and see what happens when I do that. So it looks like I'm about two or three degrees off. So I'm gonna adjust the distributor just a little bit. Uh, at the base and try to get it a little bit closer. So what I did there was uh, with the engine running, I was revving the engine up, <laughs> pointing the timing light at uh, my timing tape and watching the spark on, um, ooh, excuse me. I believe this is Mr. Tom Hyde who's giving me some advice on how to set up the Phytech. Hey Tom. Hey Jonathan, how are you? Good, how are you? just ran it at about 2,000 RPM, and um, it was two, maybe two degrees um, off from where my timing light was saying to where my, the Phytech was reading, so just loosened the distributor and turned it just a hair um, and got it right about the same. So that was uh, Tom Hyde on the phone, and he was just telling me about VR Advance 4000. So it's set at 17.6 degrees. And what this is, is when you rev your engine to about 4,000 RPMs, at 4,000 RPM, man, the Phytech is throwing everything it's got at the timing to try to open that up and give you as much room as possible, as much advance as possible. So what you wanna do with this is, if you look at this and your, your number is 17.6 like mine, well what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch your handheld controller and you're gonna get your throttle to 4,000 RPMs. And then you're gonna shine your timing light at your, your timing marks and look and compare your timing on the handheld controller to your timing marks. Now here's where the 17.6 comes into play. If on your handheld controller, um, the Phytech is showing 39 degrees advance, but on your um, timing marks, you're only seeing 36 degrees of total advance, then what you need to do is you need to change the 17.6 to 14.6, because there is a three degree difference now what most likely, uh, what Tom was saying, most likely what's gonna happen is you're gonna change this number to 14.6, your spark advance isn't gonna show any differently on your controller, and that's totally fine. But you just wanna be able to change this number down to 14.6 or 12.6, whatever it is, to make it match um, what is, is going on between the two, because that's basically the room that the Phytech has to work. So that's it. Um, once you kind of watch it and see it, it's actually pretty easy, but I remember reading the directions, I was like, what the heck is, wh what is all this? Um, and so just wanted to make a video for you guys. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, those of you who just put your Phytech on uh, your car and you're still adjusting the timing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of my other videos and make sure to subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next week.